official rules of table tennis. Number one, games are played to 11 points. A game is played to 11 points. A game must be won by two points. A match is generally the best three of five games. Number two, alternate serves every two points. Each side of the table alternates serving two points at a time. Exception, after tied 10 to 10 or juice, service alternates at every point. Can you lose on a serve in ping pong? Yes, there is no separate rule for serving on game point. Number three, toss the ball straight up when serving. How do you serve the ball in ping pong? Hold the ball in your open palm behind your end of the table. Toss at least six straight up and strike it on the way down. It must hit your side of the table and then the other side. Take note, once the ball leaves the server's hand, it is in play. And so counts as the receiver's point if the ball is missed or missed hit. Number four, the serve can land anywhere in singles. There is no restriction on where the ball lands on your side or your opponent's side of the table. It can bounce two or more times on your opponent's side. If so, that's your point. Bounce over the side or even hit the edge. Number 5. Double serves must go right court to right court. The serve must bounce in the server's right court and receiver's right court. Please take note of this. Landing on center line is fair. Doubles partners switch places after their team serves twice. Number 6. A serve that touches the net on the way over is a let. Can the ball hit the net in ping pong? Yes, of course. During a rally, if it touches the top of the net and then otherwise lands as a legitimate hit, but not been serving. If a serve ball hits the net on the way over and otherwise legally bounces in play, it's a let serve and is done over. There is no limit on how many times this can happen. Number 7. Alternate hitting in a doubles rally. Doubles partners must alternate hitting balls in a rally, no matter where the ball lands on the table. Number 8. Volleys are not allowed. Can you hit the ball before it bounces in ping pong? No. In regular tennis, you may volley the ball Hitting the ball before it bounces on your side of the ball net. But in table tennis, this results in a point for your opponent. Take note, when your opponent hits a ball that sails over your end of the table without touching it and then hits you or your paddle, that is still your point. And let's proceed to number 9. If your hit bounces back over the net by itself, it is your point. Number 9. If your hit bounces back over the net by itself, it is your point. If you hit the ball in a rally or on a serve and it bounces back over the net, after hitting your opponent's side of the table, due to extreme spin without your opponent touching it, that is your point. Number 10. Touching the ball with your paddle is allowed. Okay. What happens if the ball hits your finger or hand during a ping pong rally? If the ball touches your paddle, hand, and otherwise results in a legal hit, there is no rule violation and play shall continue as normal. Your paddle hand includes all fingers and the hand area below the wrist. But what if the ball touches a player's body? 
anywhere else during a ping pong rally, you may not touch the ball with your non paddle hand for any reason. It will result in a point for your opponent. But if your opponent hit sails over your side of the table without touching it and hits any part of you or your paddle, it is still your point. And I'll go, it's not enough.